Hey ladies, today is Sunday, September 20th, 2020, um, 62 weeks, so still like 14 months and a week and a half out, um, I'm just giving like a toddler update, um, so what is Michaela doing? So, you know, I've really been concerned that she hasn't been talking as much as things that I read online says, and even her doctor, when we went for her 12 month checkup, her doctor said that by 12 months, she be, she should be seeing at least two words. And then by 15 months, which we're not at, but you know, we're not that far from, it's like six to eight words, I believe. And so when Michaela was like nine and a half months, she said clear as day, the word baby very clear and it was in regards to me saying to her I was you know I was playing around I said you know I said uh, who's the baby who's the baby and she's like baby baby <laughs> now I don't know if she actually understood the word baby at the time so maybe that doesn't count as a word but it was really cute I was able to record the whole thing so it was really really cute but she had actually and the reason I was able to record it was because she had actually said, been saying, um, she had said baby earlier in the day in regards to something. So I realized she was able to say it. But since then, baby has been one of her favorite words to say. Now, um, now I believe she has more of an understanding of the word because of the, that program I did a video about a, a few weeks ago about your baby can learn. One of the early words um, that they teach is the word baby. And so, excuse me, so that, so now when she sees a baby on TV or something, you know, especially in that video, they show babies when they talk about babies and they show the word baby. She actually, when she sees the word baby, she says baby and she sees babies on the TV, she says baby or even in the cards or whatever, she says baby. So that's great. So I think she understands baby, but I was concerned because she hasn't said a whole lot of words. Like she has said dad, dad, she said mama, but she's never, she's never said it to where I believe she was speaking to one of us, you know, like I don't walk into the room and she's like, mama, I'm like, no, that hasn't happened yet for us. So I was getting concerned that she wasn't speaking enough. And like, you know, I do use this, pro this program. I'm not putting everything on the program, but I use this program and we go through a lot of words and I know because of this program, she can understand a lot of words and she can read a lot of words because like I, like I may have mentioned before, when I say clap or when, sorry, not when I say clap, when they show the word clap on the screen, she will start clapping even before the word is said, which means she's reading the word or she recognizes it. So that's reading, right? Recognizing the word. So you see, she to clap and she starts clapping or wave, she starts waving and, and she does baby and, um, you know, chimpanzee, she, um, every time the word chimpanzee comes up, I'll do like a little like noise, like a chimpanzee, Ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> you know, something like that. And so a lot more animated, of course. And so she does that when she sees the word. So I understand that she, she knows this word and oh, the word dog. She sees the word dog. She sees a dog. We have two dogs. She sees a dog outside. She sees dog TV. She sees dog. She's you, she pants like a dog, which was something that I was trying to teach her when we were learn. I was trying to teach her sign language a while back, but I failed at that. Um, or I gave up, I should say. I didn't stick with it. But one of the things in the book that we were using for sign language, one of the things was for a dog was to pant like a dog. And so she does that, like when she sees dog, the word dog, anything dog related, it's like she starts pantsing. But anyway, so, but she hasn't been seeing these words. And so I'm like, okay, I know you understand these words. I know you can even read some words, but you're not seeing these words. So it started to concern me. But then, like within the last couple of days, I realized maybe it's not that she's not saying them. Maybe I just don't know how to listen. So I'm expecting, you know, dog or like, cause she said baby really clear. It wasn't like bah, bah, whatever. It was baby. Like, just like I would say it, very clear baby. But, you know, I'm expecting her other words to be English, you know, something clear. But I realized that she is saying the words just not as clear as I would like. So, you know, for example, book. 
had to work on the program. We go through it. I always show her books. She recognizes books. And I'm expecting books because she's really good with B sounds. But she focuses on the ook, which is weird. <laughs> so a lot of times when she sees a book or I ask her to get her book, I can even ask her, Michaela, where's your book? Michaela, where's a, your ball? Where's your unicorn? We, she has a big stuffed unicorn. Where's your unicorn? Where's your rattle? She will get these things. Like, I can ask her for them. She will get them. And I was like, but she won't say these words. But I understand she, I'm, I'm, I'm recognizing she can understand them. But like with book, I'm noticing she's like, uk, uk, uk. And I was like, what is, what, you know, I didn't understand what it was. And maybe I'm being dense. But then I realized, she's trying to say book. I was like, oh, so you are trying to say book, but you do bees. You completely leave off the B and you're like, okay, whatever. Or like bib. She knows what her bib is. She recognizes bibs, but she say bub. So I was like, oh, okay. So I said, Michaela, um, where's your bib? You know, and she get the bib and she's like, bub, bub. So I was like, oh, okay, I guess that's bib. So we will continue to work on the words. Even even with ball, um, she doesn't, she kind of just says buh. You know, she's dropping a lot, a lot of syllables. I'm hoping that's normal. I really don't know. Um, but she understands lots and lots of words. It's that program, as, which is not cheap, has been tremendous in helping her understand words, helping her learn words, recognize them, read them. But she hasn't said a ton of them. But then I thought, well, maybe she does say them, though. Maybe I'm just not, you know, what I'm looking for is not necessarily what she's saying because she can say keys. And I just realized and she doesn't necessarily enunciate. Okay, so I'm thinking of key or keys because that's another word on the program. And she, you know, she says, ease, key. I don't know if she, I think she drops the kick, the kick sound. I think it's more like ease. But um, listen, she's trying. So I'm going to chalk them up as words. Um, you know, like I said, I'm expecting, and all babies are different. So I'm making, I was expecting to really understand it. But now I'm starting to understand that maybe what I'm looking for isn't necessarily what it is. And she is saying words because she does say these various things. Um, I just have to learn how to listen. And, and, you know, she may not get all the syllables, but she does, she does get some of the syllables. And, um, you know, I don't know. I think I was just so impressed with baby. And then, you know, uh, another uh, mother I was talking to, she was, she sent me a video of her son, who's about two months older than Michaela, saying mama pretty. And he started doing that when he was 14 months, which is the age Michaela is now. He was like, mama pretty. And of course, I'm sure she coached him to say that. Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and um, and I was just, you know, like, oh, mama pretty, wow. You know, that's a whole phrase kind of. And, um, and here I am like, well, what is this girl doing? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like what at the time I'm thinking like, okay, I get it. You could say baby, but what else do you, what else you got? Um, you know, and like I said, she says dad, dad, mama, but I have not recognized it, um, in regards to me or my husband. So I don't know. That's just a quick talking update. Um, I, you know, is this right? I don't know. Is this normal? I don't know. It's normal for Michaela, at least right now. So I don't know if, you know, should she be saying a lot of these words clearly? I don't know. But I know that she recognizes a ton of words. She understands as far as knowing the actions. She um, can read various words and she tries to say them. So I guess that's something. At least she's trying, right? I mean, so, I mean, that's all I can ask for is do your best. And we continually work on them. Like, we go over words all the time. I try to speak to her all the time. And listen, we do the best we can and we go from there. Like, you know, we, we deal with some pretty hefty words like hippopotamus and stuff like that. But um, chimpanzee, like I said, elephant, you know, we do pretty big words. We're still on um, doing levels one and two of your baby can read. And in October, we'll move to level three. So, um, 
and we'll get some new words. So we'll see how that works. But um, yeah, so one other quick thing. I started journaling. Well, I started this when she was 12 months. I started out with this journal. It was kind of like, I wanted like something that looked aged and, and rustic. So this, this one I bought off of Amazon and it has like a embossed heart. It is completely leather. Um, so if you don't like leather, it's not faux leather. This is real leather. So um, if you don't like leather, you know, but I, I did like it. And you kind of has a string, you leather string that you wrap around it. And I've just been journaling um, for Michaela, just like I do these videos that I hope one day, you know, if she's ever inclined, she can come back and watch them. But um, I started journaling and writing things to her. So just so she gets to know me and I get to know, you know, and, I, and she gets to know more about what she's doing. And so I just talk, talk to her about whatever. I don't plan to give it to her until she's like much older and she can understand stuff. But, you know, oftentimes you don't know your parents that well as far as who they were when they, when, you know, the things they think about who they were like, you know, I know my mom, but I don't know her as far as like intimate thoughts and stuff like that. And maybe you don't want anyone to know that, but you know, I want to journal and share things with Michaela is if so she, one day she'll realize like, okay, mommy was a real person or is a real person. And these things will hopefully last even when I'm not here. And, um, I want her to have something that still, you know, can speak to her about things, you know, lessons in life and things, you know, everything that's going on with being black in America now and being a woman and, you know, just me being a first time mom and, you know, things that I was thinking and things that we went through. So like, I've just been journaling all of that to share with her one day when she's older and, um, you know, different things I want her to understand and know. And of course, I hope to be around to teach her all of this stuff as well. But, you know, having that, um, I feel like would be great later. So this is what, like I said, I just bought this journal, which is, you know, it kind of, you know, this is the back, but it's kind of like, I think, it, I thought it was cute and it had like, you, you know, vintage look to it from Amazon. It was about 30 something dollars. So it's a little pricey for a journal. Um, but like I said, it is leather, but you can find other leather ones, um, and not necessarily spend $30 either. Um, um, and I've just been writing to her occasion. No, I, I try to do it at least weekly, but I do it whenever the mood strikes. So if it happens more than once a week or if, it, you know, I try to make it happen at least once a week, but, um, you know, just to update her on what's going on, how much of a pain of a butt she is right now and how much I still love her, but I'm enduring, <laughs> you know, so those things we talk about and, um, you know, hopefully one day I get to share that more with her. But this is just, you know, completely unrelated to what I was talking about. But I just figured I'd share because I thought it was an awesome idea. And I'm sure other people do it because some people start journaling through pregnancy, something I was not into then. And even after she was first born, I did not have the mental capacity to do it. So I'm finally getting to a place where I can do it. So that's where I am. But anyway. All right, ladies, I will update you soon and um, hope all is well with you. And stay safe. Talk to you later.